What's up? I'm Rob. You're watching Man vs. Pin, the show where you suggest pins from Pinterest and then I try to recreate them without looking like a complete letter tool bag. A few weeks back, N.S. Beck dropped this little ditty in the comments. These beautifully multicolored roses that apparently, when you cut the stem into four, stick them into some food coloring for 24 hours, you get this. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this one. Pinometer. Bullshit. Oh, how I love me some bullshit. I got myself some food coloring, four plastic cups, and some beautiful white roses. I put the cups together like so and threw a rubber band around them to keep them in place. I proceeded to fill each one up with a different food coloring and then added some water. Next was the tricky part, separating a rose stem into four parts. First, I shortened the stem a few inches and removed any excess leaves. Then with my X-Acto blade, I began to split the stem in half. Now this wasn't the easiest thing to do. I'm no botanist, but there's like this soft, spongy stuff in the middle of the stem that's pretty impossible to cut through properly. So I thought maybe I could peel away the stem walls and maybe cut it that way? By the way, this uh, exacto technique is f***ing ridiculous. If you try this, avoid being an idiot. Oh, yep, there you go. Alright, this way uh, doesn't work. Just uh, cut that part off. Start again. Plenty of stem. Laying it down. Now this actually worked a little bit easier. Just don't uh, get crazy and cut your stem apart. God damn it. This rose is getting a lot shorter. All right, just to salvage it, I'm going to split the remaining part of the stem in two and just use it that way, see what happens. All right, that one was a fail, let's try another one. All right, this time around using an X-Acto blade and some scissors, as well as learning from my past mistakes, I was able to get four separate stems. Just like the picture, I was able to put each one of the stems inside of a cup and voila. But honestly, we are seriously f***ing up this flower's world right now, so I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out. Now it seems like the stem might be too long for all the dye to get up there within that 24 hour time frame, but that's what the pin looks like, so so be it. Now that that's all set, I'm adding my other rose that I almost destroyed and putting that into the two dies. And then uh, then I'm just throwing another rose randomly into one of these dies just to, just to see what happens. And then I'm just letting these suckers sit overnight. Now, just 12 hours later, there's not much change to the long stem flower because the dies haven't reached the petals yet. Now the surprising one is the flower with the stem that's cut in the two because the petals uh, are completely different colors separately which I didn't know if that would happen or not, and it uh, looks like it did, so by whatever miracle. Of course it doesn't look like the pin whatsoever, but you know, I'm learning that that's kind of how these things go. That one that I didn't cut, that one is sucking up the dye pretty well, looks decent, dying, but decent. All right, 24 hours later, the last day, and these roses look like shit. Uh, they're half dead, they are limp, dying, Spotty, discolored, flimsy, um, I don't even know what's going on with that one. Definitely a no-go. Definitely not giving these to anybody. Have you seen a pin out there that looks a little bit sketchy? I want to know about it. Leave it in the comments below. And if you could, click that little like button for me. It definitely helps the show out a lot, spreads the word. And uh, check back next week for more Man vs. Pin. We'll see you then.